Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to another episode of The Real Cyber Doctor and Lena. Hello everyone. Awesome. How are we doing today? Oh, are you asking me? Yes. <laughs> I am doing great. A mixture of chaotic serendipity and um, surprise. Wow. Yeah. Sounds sounds exciting. And um, this is the second time we're trying to record this session. <laughs> Remember what happened the first time. I thought we are not disclosing it. <laughs> we have to because uh, it's not easy, you know, trying to create content. And a lot of people don't know. Maybe that's why they don't subscribe quickly. No, oh, maybe. And they don't like the video, please. We're trying to work, uh, work hard on the content, the audio quality, especially the audio quality. Hopefully, very soon we're gonna have um, the I think Spotify. We're getting there. Yeah, getting the Spotify there. account. So it's becoming pretty much perfect, I think. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So please subscribe, like this video. It's not easy to create. This is the second attempt at this episode. Okay. What we're we talking about today? So the the main subject for today's video it's uh, crypto rock pools. Crypto rock pools. Have you been rock pooled before? No, I have been quite lucky so far. <laughs> so good, it didn't happen to me. Okay. Um, I was quite careful, I think, with all the projects and tokens and I, I invested. So, no, no, it didn't happen to me personally. How about you? Okay, maybe before we start going into our personal experiences with crypto scams, what is a rock pool? Yeah, let's explain. Let's explain what that means. Like, I think it's yeah. pretty clear when you actually um, think about pulling the rug <laughs> yeah that's, that's what exactly happening with, uh, with are, you crypto. are you fall flat yeah yeah <laughs> so um the rug pull um is when the developers of the project yeah um they attracting all the investors they promoting their uh, their new token their new project and um, they just, just to yeah um pull out just before the project launch and take all the money and run I run away yeah so um, yes it's I think it's one of the most common scams uh, in the crypto world is yeah. it especially DeFi so before you talk about rock pool you want to understand what decentralized finance is all about so this is a new concept fairly new uh, I think it gained popularity in the last two years where the blockchain has allowed people to create financial institutions, decentralized distributed financial institutions that allows people to create projects, you know, different kind of projects. We have over 100 blockchains in the world now. Wow. And out of those 100 blockchains, we have over hundreds of thousands, at least over 100,000 cryptocurrencies or tokens. Mm -hmm you know created and many people because they don't want to feel they, they have the fear of missing out on these you know yes. projects FOMO. yeah the FOMO <laughs> we call them the moon boys you know they <laughs> want to <laughs> they want to get to the moon yes. so they fall victim of these DeFi scams because right now it's so easy to create a project and you know launch it on a decentralized uh, exchange we'll call it DEX like mm. pancake swap you know you could create your token lena token yes and then launch it I, i'm telling you you could do this in 30 minutes wow. and, and then tell your friends i've just created a twitter page go follow me a discord server a telegram account go follow me and bam we're going to the moon and but what happens is that these guys will keep majority of the tokens unlocked in a private wallet mm. so after shilling this tokens and promising you know heaven about it what what happens they drain the the the, the bags by dumping you know the pump out, and yeah, dump. yeah the pump and dump so by dumping the rest load on everyone it brings the price down mm. you know so the other ways of um, uh, rock pools is obviously liquidity draining you yes. know you know about liquidity what have you a read about? Bit. What have you read about liquidity? Um. Oh, what did I read? I, mm. I think it's 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 difficult. Well, maybe not difficult to explain. It's, yeah. Um. You need liquidity to trade. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, so in, in, in better liquidity, obviously, it's yeah. the the project should be more. 
secure or safe maybe but in a, in a, in a more clearer way let's say you're launching lena token on binance right so you go to Which pa- you don't really recommend <laughs> yeah yeah you go to pancake swap because binance is actually the leader in terms of the blockchain <laughs> implementation <laughs> of all the shit coins yes, yes, uh, yes, and that's where that's the base of most of the rock pools like squid squid, uh, squid game. the squid game token so you go there and you create a pair you, because you have to put some level of bnb to match lena token right so the initial liquidity you add to the system to the pool creates the price of the token mm. so if you have 1 million tokens you want to add liquidity to 10,000 of them you have to match a corresponding bnb ah, to okay, 10,000 lena that sets the price mm. you know that divides it by the outstanding number of tokens so that's the price so sometimes you see 0.00001 yes. uh, lena per bnb you know so now you have in your liquidity bnb and lena together right and you control the wallet essentially so because you've added liquidity anyone else could buy lena token so they could dump their bnb yes, trade their bnb my, for lena <laughs> yeah and then there's some liquidity fees as well so it depends on how the contract is written so the guys they re- they actually make a lot you know they make a fortune from this especially squid game squid game was about three billion dollars yes yeah, i yeah, think so yeah about three billion dollars mm. i was taking november 2021 yeah, it was yeah. quite a, a big pool of money already yeah, collected that, in very short time, actually, actually because I think it was yeah. below two weeks. Yeah, within two weeks. But the Squid Game was quite unique because it was neither liquidity draining. This was a function in the contract that prevented people from, from selling. selling. Mm, yeah. This is another common type of rug pool, yeah. isn't it? So, also, I think um, the Squid Game was the typical pump and dump yeah um, so they basically the, the the price went up like extremely high so look at the psychology right so people are buying these tokens right you go to twitter of the of the, of the project and you can't reply okay to the tweets so nobody can see you so your experience is personal to you that should be a red flag that's a us. red flag you go to telegram and it's only announcements only you know only info. yeah information only the members of the telegram channel of squid game can't comment they can't drop anything but everyone else you know the rest of the world is seeing that this token is going the green not knowing that there is a function in the contract that does not allow people to sell so you know the more you see it's like an entropy everybody likes randomness you know chaos chaos you see people buying into that token because it's going to the moon. Yeah, of course. And you think it will keep yeah. growing and growing until... And it's going... <laughs> it's it's not normal. It, there, there are irregular charts, candlestick charts. In, if you check any graph, pool coin, uh, dex tools, which, wherever you're looking, you see green, red, green, red, green, red. And there's a, a certain base of normalcy. Hmm. It's an average. You know, we call it the level of support yes. for you know, you know for those technical guys. Um, so because you see green and this, most of the crypto guys are noobs, they don't know anything. They just see, oh, the crypto is going to the moon, and then they buy, they buy more, tell their friends, and all of a sudden, the price drop. Yes, yeah, the, the price just <laughs> goes down to zero. The developers who have most of the liquidity or most of the tokens in circulation they just dump everything they trade everything for your bnb now you have squid game yes or lena token but it's worth but it's worthless no, it's zero, wor- zero. <laughs> majority of your tokens are going to zero by the way so guys don't buy any shit coins <laughs> <laughs> that's the advice how how can you tell if you are about to be rock pulled like is there any sign well I think one of the, the very clear yeah, signs yeah. Uh, is um, the, the post on the Telegram on the, um, on Twitter. So basically, if you um, if you see this account uh, appearing suddenly, yeah. can, like, I think they can prepare this project for quite a long time as well. 
um it could take about six months to gather fake followers twitter is filled yes. with a lot of robots you know you see they don't comment anything sensible no, so that's just like the first yeah red flag for us why why there is no uh, comments from people from, yeah. from other you know um, investors yeah so definitely that would be the first rec- uh, red flag um when the um, creators yeah. are anonymous probably i know some of the big coins creators they were anonymous, anonymous as yeah. well yeah. however we would like to know something about them we would like to know if they are actually existing. who are behind the project yeah, exactly. yeah very important sometimes these tokens use celebrities mm-hmm. do you know last year kim kardashian mm-hmm. and floyd mayweather they were celebrity promoters of ethereum max really in oh, june yeah june last year um kim, Ka- kim kardashian takes about five hundred thousand to a million pa- uh, dollars to post on her instagram wow. and then she's gonna put the hashtag ad ad so she post she posted on instagram hey guys do you are you into crypto there is this new crypto max my friends have been telling me about it's an ad right yeah it is paid off. floyd Mayweather did the same thing um and then ethereum max went to the moon <laughs> and back <laughs> because and to the core of yeah because there's people that are famous shilling these shit coins you know everyone all their followers millions of followers they aped in you yeah, know uh, and then yeah they got wrecked now they were in january this, this year is genius it's genius too yeah they probably even it's worth to pay them this whatever they charge 500k and to get like three billion it's, it's really genius it's, it's yeah. really um Unethical, yeah. but it's genius at the same time. Yeah, so there's a class action lawsuit against Kim Kardashian. I think in January, I, I don't know how. I'm sure she will be fine. <laughs> I don't know how it evolved, but the, yeah. But the problem is because the crypto space, especially the shitcoin space, is not regulated. You can't really do anything legally. Mm. They can get away with it. I, I I was told to promote it. It's like any other yeah, product and business. That. I didn't know what's that. I don't have it. Exactly. I didn't take well, it. She probably maybe didn't even own it. You know? Yeah, she doesn't care. She's a business person. Anyway, so now you know it doesn't matter who is involved in the project. Mm. So when you're talking about anonymous, yeah, sometimes it works, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah. in this crypto world, I noticed we have the worst of humanity. Some people disappear. People. Yeah. You know, back in the days of Quadriga CX, you know, we had the founder oh, yes, yes. of a crypto Nigeria, exchange yeah. running away, maybe, or maybe not following the right practice. And all of a sudden, we heard that it was dead till today. You know, there's still controversy about it. There is. Yeah. We, we heard a lot about Luna, you know, the Luna, uh, Terra Luna project. There's so many um, scams. You know that you will wonder is crypto actually worth it mm, yes yeah. it's a, because it's not do we need regulation regulated yes um and uh, in what level what level of regulation do we need do we need regulation on the infrastructure do we need regulation on the operations do we need regulation on on um the, the technology the innovation because to be honest has regulation really saved the world? No. In no, total, yeah, the crime. <laughs> yeah. In the, st- That's what I want the to housing say. market is regulated, the exactly. stock market is um, regulated, and then p- things still go to zero. Yeah. And I feel like you know the crypt- crypto world. It was one of the places where people actually could make some money uh, outside of the government's hands. Yeah. Um, which wasn't such a bad thing as well. So I'm kind of, I'm not quite sure if you know if they start. If the government gonna start to regulate governments yeah. in different countries gonna start to regulate yeah. crypto if that's gonna be such a, a great thing um I, we know already like in china the yeah. government banned the crypto from using so how we, how are we doing for time let's ask our sound um, engineer I, 30 seconds more all right God, that's, that's guys tricky. we have done this this second episode please subscribe look forward to the, the, the third episode we'll be talking about uh, crypto do, hacks do and bridges feel like, uh, maybe because i feel like we didn't exhaust the subject um i, I feel like we could maybe 
talk about that in the next episode. Maybe. Yeah. We could continue <laughs> Rock Pools. Yeah. yeah. Rock Pools part two. Thank you. <laughs>